Hey, Angel. So we're going to be going over how much energy is being emitted when uh, this isopropyl alcohol evap um, it goes through condensation. So if we're thinking about condensation, that's going from the gas to the liquid phase. And there's going to be some energy transfer here. Um, it is losing energy in the system. You can think about this as like gas being a higher energy state, liquid being a lower energy state. So to go to that lower energy state, it needs to give off energy or emit energy. And when things leave the system, that's going to be a negative number. So this is, first of all, it's going to be negative. We know that just from how these things are defined. The next thing that I noticed is the units. This is kilojoules and moles, but they've given us grams. So we need to figure out how many moles of the substance we have because the amount of energy um, given off or required to change states is going to depend on the moles, not the grams. So we need to first turn these from grams into moles. We can do that using the molar mass. So this is just a little stoic stoichiometry, right? Got to remember that from earlier in the year. <laughs> so you got your grams, and then this is going to be grams on the bottom because this is canceling out the units of the isopropyl alcohol. And then we'll have moles on top. And that's our molar mass right there. That's how much one mole weighs. So one mole is equal to that weight. And that would give you this amount in moles. So let's get the calculator out. We've got 64.8 divided by 60.096. And it looks like we've got 1.078 uh, moles of the substance. And we can we can round that, but we're not going to round until we get to the, the final answer. So that's the moles, which we're going to need to combine with this, this conversion factor here. So we've got Q, which is going to be equal to uh, the amount of moles, which is N times whatever this conversion factor is. Um, I've forgotten the variable, what, what variable they write in for this. So I'm just going to call this um, what it is, which is that four or 45. 0.4 um, kilojoules. Sorry, I'm just gonna get rid of that. So 45.4 kilojoules per mole. And that's gonna be multiplied by the number of moles. And that should cancel out our units. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And you've got the answer. This is mole canceling out moles, because this is kind of like this is an enumerator, right? So if you've got numerator and denominator, the units should cancel out. And so also remember, we said that this would be a negative number. We know that this is a negative change per mole because we're going in the direction that's going down. So we get a negative, um, let's see, 45.4 times one point. 078. That gets us the negative 48.9 um, 412, but we can round that. And it looks like they gave us three sig figs. Um, we weren't really using the temperature in our conversions or anything. So it's really three sig figs that we're working with. So this is the 48.9. Um, kilojoules for that um, amount of Q or energy that is going to be emitted. And because it's leaving the system, we typically write that as a negative number. Okay. Thank you for joining me. This has been Andrew McLaren. I do have a YouTube channel as well. Check me out. It's called McLaren with McLaren. <laughs>